from time to time I get people asking me uh, what the difference between uh, matched batteries and, and unmatched batteries are and uh, what zapping a battery is and everything so uh, I'm going to go through the process here um, these are our fresh raw cells this is a turbo matcher 4 from uh, competition electronics um, I have four cells loaded in the top of this um, this is an older machine uh, it was sent back to competition electronics and had the upgrade prom uh, installed to do the nickel metal hydride batteries what uh, what it does is uh, I don't know if you can see the screen okay we got all four cells there ready to roll um, you have uh, cycle, repeat, discharge, and discharge there. Um, what I do when I first start to build a set, uh, I run it through a cycle, two cycles uh, through the matcher, and uh, then I, I pull the cells, I number the cells so I know which one's which, and I pull them and I zap the cells. And then I recycle them one more time, and uh, I don't have the printer hooked up. It has a printer port on the side to print labels. Uh, I don't have the the printer hooked up to print labels for it. But uh, I log down uh, for each number of cells. Um, the information that it gives me is okay. Your top numbers over here the seconds what that is is that's the the time that it takes at a set discharge rate uh, this box I just I didn't have a label I just found this uh, old box it's showing discharge of 35 amps on here uh, this machines actually only capable of discharging up to 30 amps so the numbers are actually going to turn out a little different uh, than what a new matching uh, machine will but it's not, uh, the numbers aren't as important as the consistency between the cells. But what this does, it'll give you a readout of what the actual resistance inside the battery is, um, your charge amps that it's getting charged at on this one, it's showing 6.0, uh, your cutoff voltage is uh, showing 0.9 on here. I cut, I cut off the nickel metal hydrides at. 1.0 volt uh, per cell. Um, it shows your average your average voltage will come out. Your higher your average voltage, the higher top speed you'll have. So uh, what I do here is I just take it. I log down for each of the cells. I log down all the numbers. Um, on a match set, what you want is is consistency between each of the cells. So, in other words, you're not going to have one cell that has a real short run time and, you know, five or six other cells that are going to have a longer run time because you're going to end up with an unbalanced pack. Your, your cell that, that uh, has a shorter run time is going to discharge uh, faster than the other cells, so you're always going to end up with a weak pack. That's, that's the whole purpose of balancing getting a, a matched uh, pack is that all the cells act the same. They charge the, the same amount and they discharge at the same amount. When the pack's dead, all of them are discharged to the same amount. Um, the zapping of the cells, what, what that consists of is, uh, I'll show that a little bit later um, once I run through these. Uh, this will only do four cells at a time. So uh, I'll go ahead and start this on the cycle now. Uh, let me see, I got uh, my charge amps I have set too low right now. I'll have to set um, Okay, I'm going to set the charge 
the charge amps set to six amps uh, for the cycles and then uh, Okay, my discharge, um, the discharge setting I want to be at, I want it to discharge at 30 amps, so, let me see, let's go, Okay, so we're uh, we're charging now, charging at six amps, uh, discharging at 30 amps with a 1.0 uh, voltage cutoff on the cells. So uh, it'll take a, a little while for those to go ahead and run through. Um, I'm going to do, I'll probably do uh, 12 cells, run them through, and. Uh, then I'll pick out of the out of the 12 cells. I'll pick the the closest set for this. Um, this pack that I'm making right now is actually a seven cell pack. So, out of the out of the 12 cells that I'm going to cycle through the the matcher, I'll uh, I'll end up with the uh, seven cells. Um, you know, I'll pick the seven closest cells, and I'll uh, I'll show you the the readouts and how close and everything they are on there, and. Uh, let me go ahead and run through those, and when they're uh, when they're all done, I'll uh, I'll come back and uh, show you the zapping process, and uh, uh, I'll go ahead and assemble this pack.